Hello friends and welcome to today's practice called Full Moon Morning Flow. In honor of today's practice, we will focus on preparing for a version of the Ardha Chandrasana Half Moon Pose. So we'll begin today's practice down on the spine. You can just take everything and set it off to the side so that it's out of the way. Blocks can go to the uh, front short side of the mat. Blanket can go out to the right or to the left. Transition the body down onto the spine. As you arrive, open your arms in a nice open T, palms facing up to the sky. You can bend your knees so that they point up to the sky and have your feet about as wide as your yoga mat. And then as you feel ready, you can begin with a gentle sway of the knees from right to left. Notice the feeling of the legs moving through space and as the knees tip to the right, you can gently activate into the inner edge of the left foot. As the knees tip to the left, you can gently activate into the inner edge of the right foot. Let's go one more time to each side. And point the knees to the sky. Pick up both feet for a gentle squeeze of the knees and thighs in toward the belly and ribs. Hands at the front of the shins or at the backs of the knees and thighs. And then just a little gentle sway. Cross your back from side to side. The full moon is considered to be a beautiful time in the month to just take pause and to take a moment to contemplate what in your life you are grateful for. So as you hug your knees and thighs in toward the body, you might just take a moment to feel a sense of gratitude for all that the body does for you each day okay, and then as you feel ready keep the knees bent but plant the feet back down on the floor heels approximately in line with the sitting bones or slightly wider ankles beneath the knees you're going to bring the arms down by the sides and then you'll allow your elbows to bend so that the forearms and the hands are perpendicular to the mat we're gonna press into the backs of the arms. Take your breath in and begin to lift the hips up into a bridge. Keep the head in the center, feel the chest bone lifting toward the chin. And then as you exhale, we're gonna lower the pelvis back down. And we'll do that a few times. Build strength in the feet, the legs, the spine, spinal muscles, breathe in with the hips. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Let's take one more with a longer hold. So inhale, lift the hips. Pause here. If we can hold for an extra one to two breaths in the bridge pose. Concentrating the breath at the back of the throat. Okay, take a breath in. And then as you exhale, let the pelvis begin to come down. Pick the feet back up off of the floor so you can hug your thighs in. You can transition to table. You can either roll to one side and come up to table that way, or you can just take a few 
gentle rocks on the spine. Using the abdominals as you rise up to take a little balance. One more time. And then we'll transition into table. So as you go into table, you might take just an extra moment to unfold your blanket so you have some support for your knees. And then you'll come to the table. We'll do some knee contractions here to focus on strengthening the core as well as the hips to support the half moon balance. So put the weight into the right knee and then let's take the left leg back. Lift it up into the air, lift the heart, breathe them. Exhale, curl your left knee in toward your left elbow and take a little bit of a round in the spine. Inhale to extend the left leg and lift the heart. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Again, inhale to lift the leg and lift the heart. Exhale, left knee to elbow. Inhale to extend the left leg and exhale, lower the left knee down. Second side, inhale, right leg lifts up and back with the heart, open the throat. Exhale, curl your right knee to your right elbow, round your spine. Inhale to extend and lift the heart. Exhale, right knee to right elbow and round. One more time, inhale, extend and lift the heart. Exhale, right knee to right elbow and round. Inhale to extend the right leg, lift the heart. And exhale, set the right knee on the mat and give a sway with your hips from side to side. We're going to come to the center, release the belly down to the mat, take a cow tilt. Notice the movement of the tops of the thighs. Feel the openness from the belly button toward the pubic bone. We're going to come into hover table or sometimes referred to as panther. So neutral with the spine, curl the toes, elevate the knees for a moment. Building core stability can help with all balanced poses. Reach out nice and long through the crown of the head. Soften your eyes and breathe deeply, concentrating the breath across the back of the throat to create a soft, audible sound. Okay, take your last exhale here. Breathe in, lower your knees, release your belly, lift your heart. Exhale, curl your toes. And let's lift the knees, come into downward facing dog this time. Walk out through the feet and the knees, that gentle pedaling. All right, we're going to place the weight into the right ball of the foot. Now we're going to do a few down dog toe taps. You might even soften in the right knee just a bit. You're going to inhale and send that. Left heel up into down dog split. That'll create some extra stretch across the back of the right leg. And then as you exhale, just tap the left toes down onto the mat and then inhale, lift the left heel again. Exhale, tap the toes. Inhale to lift the heel nice and high. Exhale to tap. We're going to inhale, lift that left heel nice and high. Now this time we'll come through crouching plank into high lunge. So you're going to pull the knee into the chest, give a little round to the spine, step the left foot by the left wrist, and then spin the right heel down, preparing for Virabhadrasana to warrior two. So inhale, right arm is going to circle, sweep around. You're going to turn your chest to face the right side of the room, stretch out through arms and then we're going to turn the gaze and focus out and beyond the left hand all right so we'll take another breath here feeling the steadiness and strength in the legs 
in that momentary pause to thank your body for all that it does for you each and every day. Take a nice big breath in. Exhale, we'll start to straighten the left knee just a bit. Just take a heel toe with the back right foot. We'll transition into triangle so that left hand can come down maybe on the top of the shin or near the ankle. Stretch your right arm up to the sky. Good. Draw the lower belly in as you draw the low front floating ribs in and then just feel yourself expand from the core outward like the moon sending its light. I'm going to feel that sense of expansion extending from the center outward through your extremities. Take a breath in. All right now as you exhale we're going to come to high lunge. This be a, might be a helpful place to catch hold of your blocks. Bend your left knee, spin off of your right heel. Now you might even heel toe the left foot an inch or two to the left. You're there in high lunge. You're going to take a breath in here. And as you exhale, we're going to come into a version of pyramid pose with that right heel lifted. So you're just going to move the left leg towards straight. You might even end up coming up with the blocks so that you're on their highest or mid height. I'm going to take halfway lift in the spine. You're going to slide that left hip crease back, draw your shoulder blades down the back and reach out nice and long through the crown of the head. Take a breath in. As you exhale for a moment, fold the torso forward into the left leg. Nice gentle bow forward. Breathe in. We're coming back to high lunge. Move the blocks. Step the left foot back down dog. Back inside. Let's place the weight into the left ball of the foot. Inhale, send your right heel up, down dog splits. You might even be bending a little bit in that left knee. Exhale, right toes tap down. Inhale, right heel lifts high. Exhale, toes tap down. Inhale to lift. Exhale to tap. Inhale to lift. Now as you exhale, curl your right knee into your chest. Step your right foot by your right wrist. Spin your left heel down. We're coming up where your two left arm makes that big circle around. You're going to turn your chest to face the left long side of the mat as you stretch out through your arms. Take a breath in. We're going to turn the gaze. We're looking out and beyond the right hand. Feel a sense of strength and power in the pose, but then inviting in also a softness and relaxation into the body. Sometimes even referred to as almost like an effortless effort. Take a breath in and last breath out here. I'm going to start to move the right leg towards straight, heel toe the back left foot in an inch or two. Begin to lean the body over the right leg, coming into Uttira Trikonasana. Right hand landing on the shin bones, left arm reaching up into the sky, illuminating from the core outward through the legs and through the arms. Let's take another breath in here. Feel the connection to the core but then the expansion outward and on your next exhalation, coming into high lunge, maybe grabbing a hold of the blocks, spinning off your left heel, adjusting the feet as needed. Start to straighten your right knee, slide your right hip crease back, draw your shoulder blades down the back and reach out nice and long through the crown of the head. Take a breath in here, and then you can use your exhale to start to bow in to the right leg. So holding and release and relax the head for a moment. Take a breath in, return the body to high lunge. Move the blocks to the side, step the right foot back, downward facing dog. Take the toes back one to two inches, 
farther than you usually do for down dog, just making space for the hips to roll out into plank. Lift the heels, roll the hips forward, come out into plank with knees down or a knee down plank. Exhale, begin to bend the elbows. If the knees are lifted, move toward the tips of the toes. Anchor the feet, inhale, lift the chest, Bhujangasana, the cobra. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, the downward facing dog. Pause for a moment, breathe. All right, let's go back into the right ball of the foot. Big deep breath in. Send your left heel nice and high, down dog split. Exhale, curl your left knee in toward the chest. Step the left foot forward, spin the right heel down. Now from here, we'll start to come in to half moon. So you're going to move this left, uh, the block under the left hand forward, slide the right hand to the right hip. Press off the right foot and bring the right leg up into Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Now you can stay right here. This right arm might go up to the sky. So you're feeling your body connect to the core. So stay strong at the center. And then you're expanding outward. Now you can stay right here. You might even draw into the core just a little more so that you might be able to take this left hand and move it up to the heart space, connecting the left hand to the center of the chest. Okay, from this pose, we'll come into stork with the right knee coming into chest. So bend in the left knee a little bit and then start to sweep the right leg down, up and forward. Catch hold of the right shin bones or the back of the right thigh. Give a little squeeze in. And then exhale, lower the right foot. Wrap the hands around to the low back. Draw the elbows toward one another. Inhale, lift the chest. Tailbone draws down. With the hands at the hips, exhale, begin to fold forward into the legs. Slide the hands down the legs. Fold in, release and relax. Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift with the spine. Draw the shoulders down the back. Exhale, downward facing dog. From that downward facing dog, we are going to place the weight into the left ball of the foot. Inhale, send your right heel up. Downward dog split. Exhale as you curl your right knee into your chest. Step the right foot by the right wrist. Spin the left heel down. Grab the black. Place it under the right hand and move it forward. Breathe in. Press off the left foot and bring the left leg up into Ardha Chandrasana. From here, left hand could stay to the hip or you could reach your left fingertips up to the sky. Press through your left heel. Hand outward, you can stay right there. You can take your right hand and maybe place your right hand to your heart. Extra balance challenge. Okay. We're going to be coming around and up into stork. So a little softening in the right knee. Sweep that left leg down. Bring it forward and then up into stork. Hands catch hold of the back of the left thigh or the left shin bones. Lengthen through the spine, breathe in. Exhale, left foot comes down, hands wrap around to the low back, take the tailbone down, lift the heart. With the hands at the low back, exhale, hinge forward, slide the hands down the legs, fold in, Ardha Uttanasana next, half lift, inhale, lift the spine. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath. Inch the toes back one to two inches, lift the heels, roll the pelvis forward. Knees up or down, exhale, bend the elbows, lower down. Inhale, lift the heart, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Take a breath in and out here. Another round of breath here. Okay, breathe in. As you exhale, lightly lower the knees down to the mat. We're going to put the weight into the right knee. Lift the left knee, cross it behind the right, and then move your feet a little wide. So you have um, 
the Gomukhasana legs. So we're gonna start to move the pelvis toward the back of the mat. So we fold forward over the, over the right leg, torso maybe even meeting the front of the right thigh. Take a, a breath in and out here. Inhale as you come up, move your feet a little closer together, lift up the left knee, uncross. Do that on the second side. Pick up your right knee, cross it behind your left, move your feet a little farther apart. Then we're gonna move the pelvis back toward the floor as you're reaching your pelvis toward the back short side of the mat as you fold over that left leg. Child's pose with legs crossed or a version of the Gomukhasana, cow face pose. All right, last cycle of breath here. Let's rise back up, bring the feet a little closer together, pick up the right knee and uncross the knees. From here, we'll bring big toes together, knees going wide, let the body come into wide knee child's pose. This will be the last pose of the practice today, so feel free if you prefer to take Shavasana, you can come down onto your spine. Let the breath settle here. The moon in and of itself is associated with a sense of quietude, stillness, reflection. And I always find child's pose is a beautiful pose to help cultivate those particular qualities. Humble pose, that is a great reminder of the beginner's mind or the seed of the student. Take another minute here just to be with the breath. Right. At your home, feel free. Stay in the child's pose or shavasana for as long as you like. If you're ready to transition, we'll transition through table or over to the right or left if you're on your spine. And we'll make our way around coming to a seated shape. As your hands join in prayer at the heart, let the chin slightly bow forward. Thank you for taking the time to join me for today's practice. The light within me sees and bows to that same light that exists within you. Thank you.